I'm attorney Nick Alcock. I'd like to speak a little bit about mandatory minimums for drug cases. This has made the news recently, and on August 12th, the Attorney General, Mr. Holder, went to speak to the American Bar Association. And what he said was something that lawyers have been talking about for ages and ages. However, if the fact that the Attorney General is saying it, well, that changes everything. And that's very, very good and very, very promising that finally somebody in power is saying, look, sentencing somebody to prison for a very long time for holding a very small amount of drugs is ridiculously stupid. Now, Holder didn't exactly say that it was ridiculously stupid, but he also said it was draconian, and he also wondered whether or not it was effective. So we're finally starting to hear some language out of the Department of Justice to make some amount of sense that people are talking about changing these mandatory minimums. And I can tell you one thing is that they don't really even have to change the mandatory minimums. They can always go ahead as prosecutors and elect not to file charges or send the charges to the county or send it to the state. There are a number of ways that the federal government could basically immediately get rid of this ridiculous problem that they have. They are sending people to prison for small amounts of drugs. They don't have to prosecute them. They can send them off to uh, the, the county or the state. But I also know that that is something which is not particularly uh, going to be smiled upon by certain members of Congress. And so I think that what you're seeing is that finally the Attorney General is coming out and saying, look, we have to do something about the so-called, and that's what he said, the so-called war on drugs, and that it is not effective. So finally, we're seeing some movement out of Eric Holder, and we're seeing a little bit of daylight. Uh, I just hope that before we get to the point where there are congressional hearings, before we have to wait two, three years for some type of change, I submit to you as a criminal defense attorney, I absolutely know that any assistant U.S. attorney can turn a case down, or they could charge it differently, or they could open up some possibilities to dismiss certain of the more serious charges. And it's just something that they have the ability to do right this instant. So, Mr. Holder, if you are serious about this, which I think that you are, why don't you get on the horn and talk to the people that you need to talk to, and those are the people that work for you, and tell them, please stop charging these silly cases, call up your brethren, over at the state or at the county and have them pick up the case because there's absolutely no reason why we should be paying $30,000 a year to send someone who had a little bit of crack to prison for seven years. It doesn't make any sense, especially when in the state court they might just get probation, especially if you, know, you actually send the case to a different jurisdiction where there are no mandatory minimums. They'll still get punished. It's not like you're just throwing the case away. It's just that instead of them going to prison forever, maybe they get some type of alternative diversion program. Maybe they get something that actually makes something, uh, uh, that makes some amount of sense that isn't, in Holder's opinion, draconian. So I'm Nick Alcock, and I am the owner of Alcock & Associates. I thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.